Um, I had my first son with you in August 2014 and then uh, number two uh, in May 2017. We wanted to be in a hospital that had the full kind of emergency and full range of facilities um, if you know anything did go awry um, and knowing that you've got Evelina on the doorstep Hi. and also the full, um, the full services of St Thomas is here is really really comforting. Um, but then once we came in here, what I really liked about the unit is because it's so small, it does feel very personal. And certainly when we came back to have Daniel, it was a lot of the same staff. Um, and it was lovely coming in and recognising the same staff and then recognising us. So it certainly felt very personal and, and you felt that you were very well looked after. Um, I had to have a caesarean for both of my births um, because I had congenital hip dysplasia as a child and now I have an artificial hip. Um, and because of that we were looking at uh, the private care options. Um, I actually was with the St Thomas's NHS midwives for a lot of my antenatal care and just moved over fairly late. Um, so again that was another good reason with coming to Westminster, the ability to transition. Um, but I think one of the main things was that knowing that we'd be having a caesarean, um, I wanted to make sure that we had that kind of extra postnatal care and that extra help for those first few days. Um, and I think that's something that you're guaranteed in the Westminster Street. I think one of the things that I found that I really took away from here was that the, the care was very personalised. So um, with both of the boys, um, they had, oh bless you, um, they had tongue tie, so we weren't kind of, we didn't have straightforward feeding from the off in both cases, um, and especially because my first son was a little on the smaller side. Um, but there was a case of just chatting to us and working out what worked best for us and the baby, that it was, and it was all very tailored to what was going to help, what was going to make everyone feel comfortable. Um, and also things like kind of with, it was quite stressful at the beginning with my first because of him being quite small and not really wanting to eat. So one of the midwives kind of just took him out for a few hours in the night to make sure that I got some sleep. Um, this one was much more compliant. But just having that, that kind of personalised, you know, we'll do what works, makes such a difference. Certainly kind of after having C-section, you know that there's going to be someone there to help you in the middle of the night with the baby. Um, and knowing that you're going to get that care and attention for those first few days. Um, and with the first as well, it's almost like a crash course for three days, which is really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, we liked it here, didn't we? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs>